And each one of these machines, like I mentioned before, it has a PLC, it can even have multiple PLCs. It also has an HMI. So again, there's going to be controllers that do something within that machine. It could be motors, it could be sensors, it could be drives, right? So there's going to be a lot of different components, field services and field devices here inside of our machine. Same goes for machine three, machine four, so on and so forth. SCADA, like I mentioned, will control those machines. So it needs to, first of all, communicate to those machines. So SCADA is going to live as I mentioned a little bit earlier, in a room where basically it has connectivity to each one of those machines. And so ultimately this in the real world or the current manufacturing environment typically means that there's going to be a network involved on the OT side, which will consolidate a lot of this machinery into a certain process where the SCADA resides. And so where does the SCADA actually live? What is SCADA? SCADA is basically a piece of software that typically lives on a computer or in a large environment on a server. So here, if I was to look inside of a SCADA room, usually I would see racks of servers. Of course, in smaller environments, a server is nothing but a computer, like I've mentioned a little bit earlier, but a server provides some redundancy or resiliency. So all of these signals are going to go out into the server. And then that software is ultimately going to have different screens from which the process can be controlled. So here I'm drawing different screens in front of which we have an operator that's going to be looking at them. And so all of these screens are connected to the SCADA. Again, the software itself is obviously pushing whatever the screen needs to be, but ultimately the processing is done on the server and allows the operator to interface to say, start this line, start this specific area or stop this line. Or maybe you look at some of the faults. It could be either faults that stop a line. It could also be alarms, right? So if something is close to the threshold where it needs to be monitored, the operator is going to see an error or an alarm on this specific HMI, and he will have to go there and react in a, it could be in a number of different ways. It could be adjusting a certain parameter. It could be reprogramming something. It could be simply silencing the alarm if they don't feel like that is a necessary thing to address at this point in time. So one of the questions that usually gets brought up at this conversation is, can't I use my HMI software to build a SCADA system? And the short answer is yes, you can, depending on the process. So the current HMI systems have gotten so advanced that you could build or you could connect multiple PLCs to a single HMI. And so in theory, you could bypass this whole architecture, put a single PanelView Plus or even a Siemens terminal if you wanted to, 